Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install Anaconda on Windows 10. So Anaconda is one of the world's most popular data science platform. So let's see how we can install it. At first, we will download it. Go to the browser. Here and type Anaconda. Press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible. Anaconda.com. Click on it. So guys, we have reached the official website. Now, directly go to pricing. Here in the free version will be also visible. Here is the free version and here are the paid versions. I'll go for the free version. Click on get started. So here is the distribution available for 64 bit operating system. That means Windows. If you want for Mac and Linux, you can click here. Let us click on download to download it. It's 594 MB. Now the download started. Let's wait for a few seconds. So guys, the exe file download it, double click on it to install, minimize this. Here is the setup, click on next. Click on I agree. You can select any option for installation type. I'll select all users. Click on next. Choose installation location. I'll keep the default. If you want to change, you can click on browse. Keeping the default would be fine. It will take 3.5 GB. Click on next. Now you can see advanced options are visible. Keep it the default. That is register Anaconda 3 as the system Python 3.9. Click on install. Now the installation started. So guys, now you can see we have successfully installed Anaconda. Click on next. Click on next again. Click on finish. I'll uncheck these. Click on finish. Now guys, let us go to start. Type Anaconda. On typing Anaconda, now you can see Anaconda prompt and navigator is visible. Now I'll click on Anaconda navigator. Now you can see guys the Anaconda Navigator is visible. So it is having some pre-installed tools like Jupyter Lab, Notebook, PyCharm, VS Code Spider. So what I'll do, I'll just click launch on Jupyter Notebook so that we can create our first notebook and run a sample Python program. Click on launch. Now we have reached here. You can see, you can see on localhost. Okay. Now click desktop here. Here in let us create a new folder. Click new folder. Let's click here now. Let's go to desktop. Through this you can easily navigate. Okay. Let us rename it. Select rename. Let's say the name I'll keep is Amit Programs. Click on rename. Now we have renamed it. Double click. Click on new. We will add a new Python notebook. Create a new notebook. Click here. So here is our Python notebook. You can directly name it. Here you can see untitled. I'll just click on it and rename. Demo one, let's say. Rename. Now we have renamed it. Let me print something. So this is where we need to write our programs. First Python program. Okay. So when I'll press control enter, it will run. You can see the output first Python program. Okay. I click below and it created a new cell. Now let me create a is equal to 5 press enter. B is equal to 10. C is equal to a plus B. Now let us print the sum. Sum is equal to C. That's it. Keep the cursor here and press control enter. It will show the output sum is equal to 15. It printed this. So this is how you can create a notebook. Jupyter notebook. Okay. When I'll go to, when I'll minimize this. Now here you can see it created our first demo1.ipynb in under under Amit programs folder. How? Because we created it here. Here it was. 
we create Amit Programs folder and the same is visible. With that, we created demo one dot ipynb, which is visible here. Okay, so we have our notebook here right now. So guys, in this video, we saw how we can install Anaconda. With that, we also ran our first Python program on Jupyter notebook. That is, we created our first notebook and ran it. So guys, thank you for watching the video.